Hiroshima, with its picturesque views, moving memorials and powerful monuments to peace, this is a town united. And that energy is reflected in the tremendous support for the city's iconic J-League club. This is San Frecce Hiroshima. One of the J-League's original 10, San Frecce is a club founded upon the principle of togetherness. Their name comes from the Japanese word for free, San, and the Italian word for arrows, Frecce, and is a reference to a feudal era folktale about the importance of sticking together and working on behalf of the group. While one single arrow can easily be snapped, it's said that three arrows bundled together are much harder to break, hence San Frecce. That name has been most fitting over the years for this city, which has the spirit of togetherness and resilience embedded in its DNA. And for a club that has accomplished so much since its foundation in 1938, all the way up to its J-League debut in the 90s. Success on the pitch took a while for San Frecce, however. After two decades of near misses, five lost finals and a pair of relegations in 2002 and 2007, things started to change in 2012 when Hajime Moriyasu took over as San Frecce manager. The current Japan boss was already an iconic figure in Hiroshima, having spent 14 years playing for the club but his legend grew remarkably in the dugout when San Frecce finally claimed a trophy in 2012, the first of three J1 titles in four years under Moriyasu. With youth team products like Tomoaki Makino and Ryota Morowaki in the team and led by a pair of J-League MVPs in Hisato Sato and Toshihiro Aoyama, San Frecce were unquestionably the most dominant club in Japan for the era. Despite a couple more final losses in the 2013 Emperor's Cup and the 2014 League Cup, two further league titles arrived in Hiroshima in 2013 and 2015, the latter of which was supplemented by a stellar showing at the FIFA Club World Cup, where they finished in third. Things have cooled off quite a bit for San Frecce since that most recent league triumph in 2015, but that hasn't quieted the fans at the Big Arch. The Edeon Stadium Hiroshima where capacity crowds have packed the place in purple since the beginning of their J-League journey. These fans are hoping to have new success to shout about in 2022 when new manager Michael Skibbe takes the reins. Having previously managed clubs like Borussia Dortmund and Bayer Leverkusen in the Bundesliga, it may only be a matter of time before the Purple Archers start firing again. Like, subscribe, push notification.